For today's recipe, I am going to show you how to make this easy pork dumplings. Almost all of the ingredients are found at your local grocery store. The only thing that you might have to go find is the gyoza or the pot sticker wrappers. If you would like to make a smaller batch of gyoza, you can always just cut all the recipes in half. So to get started, we have to prep our vegetables. And the first thing that I'm doing is thinly chopping my cabbage. I'm only going to use half of the head of cabbage and try to slice this as thinly as possible because we don't want big chunks in our gyoza. And then place that in the big bowl. Next, I'm going to thinly slice the shiitake mushrooms. And if you cannot find shiitake mushrooms, you can use any other types of mushrooms. I'm going to chop my mushrooms so that they become these very tiny little pieces. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my green onions. And then I'm going to grate my fresh ginger. You can also use um, powdered ginger. And here's my one pound of ground pork. And to this, I'm going to add my minced garlic. Add enough salt um, so that it gives this dumpling a lot of flavor and black pepper. And I'm also going to add my seasonings which is soy sauce and the sesame oil and then I'm also going to add sake using a disposable glove I'm going to use my hands and bring all of the ingredients together so this is going to take a couple of minutes but you really want all of the ingredients to come together and bind. And the cabbage is going to wilt down a little bit um, from all of the liquid seasonings that we've added um, along with the salt. So we're just gonna let that sit for the next about 20 minutes. And I'm going to scramble one egg and this egg is going to act like a glue. So taking one gyoza wrapper, place in a little bit of the filling and then take that egg and just um, smear it on towards the edge of the gyoza paper all around and then we're going to fold that in half and then just really press down on the edge and the next part is completely optional if you want it to make it look a little bit more prettier you can just go ahead and keep folding in the edges about four to five times and they would this would give you that nice little um, folded look that you would normally see when you um, order gyoza so to store the dumplings away you first want to spread the dumplings apart and place them on a cookie sheet and then go ahead and put that in the freezer for about four to six hours. After four to six hours, you can take it out of the freezer and place the dumplings inside a Ziploc bag and then place it back inside the freezer until you are ready to cook them. So to pan fry the dumplings, you want to add about two to three tablespoons of oil in your pan. Let that heat up and then add in your dumplings. Don't flip the dumpling until you check on one of the dumplings and if the uh, color has turned this uh, golden brownish color, then go ahead and flip all of the dumplings and then add about maybe a little less than a fourth cup of water into the pan and then place a lid on top of the pan then just let it steam and wait until all of the water has evaporated. This will give you that very nice and juicy pork dumpling that um, you get to enjoy at your the restaurants. And this also doesn't let the meat dry out. Um, so it really gives a much better texture and taste. And so the only thing that you're going to need with this dumpling is the sauce. And the sauce is really, really easy to make. All you need is um, about a tablespoon or two of the soy sauce and then we're going to add 
a little bit of rice vinegar. And I like to just add a little bit of chili oil to give that little spicy kick. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do upload new videos every week, so come back. And also support my channel by clicking on that big thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Bye!